about nine years ago. I was uh, 36, 37, and my son came home from school, and he's like, Dad, yeah, I met this recruiter. You know, I'm going to be graduating. I think I'm going to join the infantry. And I looked at him, and I said, listen, this is not something you need to be doing. I'm going to do it. And he said, oh, BS, Dad, you're, you're too old. So I took that kind of as a personal challenge and also, you know, so that I could go so he didn't have to go. It's kind of the way I felt. He could go to college. I could give him my benefits for going in. Um, so I joined the Army. Coming back, I feel almost like every day I live in a little bit of a fantasy world. I'm not under fire. I don't have those same feelings. I, it got to a point where I was scared to come back home because I had gotten adjusted to that way of life. I had gotten used to a way of life where I was completely on and, you know, Joe off the street that hasn't ever been in that situation. They, yeah, they see it on TV and they see it in video games, but they really can't put it into perspective really what it is and how it could affect somebody. And um, it changes you. To keep myself from being on anti-anxiety medicines all the time and that type of thing, I use my art to just escape. I use it to say, okay, squelch the demons. We're gonna create and I'm just gonna ignore and put on my blinders and I'm gonna I'm gonna go into my creative mode, my little zen place, and I'm gonna do, you know. And then when I go into that that place, I uh, you know, I'm reflective. And I will start from nothing and like I said, my brain's kinda like this vortex of just stuff going on. I will just plop clay down and it'll start out with one idea and it will just morph and change into this into that and finally I will see something that I like aesthetically and it's comfortable for me and I just start making it. You know someone once told me that a relationship is not supposed to last forever. Um, it was in regards to people that I've known that have died but they touched me in a way that will go on with me for the rest of my life. And they are now a part of me and I carry them around in my heart. And um, that's what life is. Life is these experiences. And a wealthy man, I think, is not someone who has money in his bank and in his pocket, but somebody who's got a wealth of memories and a, a wealth of friends um, at the end of the day. And so, yeah, with that being said, yeah, I'd, I w wouldn't take it back. It was definitely the right choice. Um, I think it was the right choice for me. You know, I don't necessarily think that my son should have gone. Um, and yeah, I'm, I may be a changed man, but you know, uh, it, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> and uh, you know, for the most part, I'm really happy, so.